is Pro Bowler Josh Norman here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Josh? Hey, man, I'm doing great, man. Um, it's a snowy day down yes. here in Carolina, but we're loving up on it. Have a snowball fight. <laughs> it's fun, bro. Well, now, can you give me the, if I turn you into the official Rich Eisen Show meteorologist, Josh, if I gave you 30 seconds for a weather report, um, can you give it Can you give it to me right now? Well, um, chance of showers, um, chance of uh, snow, okay. um, a lot of chance of precipitation on the roads. So okay. It's slick outside, so you got to be wary of the conditions. When you're riding down the road, you got to watch out um, for the ice. It's slick on the road, but okay. uh, if you ain't bundled up, okay. bundled up tight. And what's the, cocoa. what's the percent chance of Super Bowl? Josh, what's the percent? Chance of Super Bowl? Mm -hmm. Man, we got a good chance, man. We got a, we got a great chance, actually. Um, we just got to do the things that we're coached to do, and, and knowing that and knowing our responsibilities and our keys and everything else, I feel it'll take care of itself. What have you, what have you seen on film this week uh, from the guys that you're most likely going to be covering this week, Josh? Yeah, they got some explosive guys. They really do. Um, guys that can create problems if you um, let them get open. Guys that can um, take the ball to the top, and then you got the intermediate guys. Um, so um, we're respecting everybody um, and not looking over nobody, no past, nobody. I, I think we just got to be, you know, um, sound in what we do and tech technicians, man. Um, technique is what's going to carry us um, where we want to go. And what did you say Carson Palmer should do if he sees Kawan Short come through <laughs> the line this week? <laughs> Hey, man, that's a big man. <laughs> you better get out of the way because he's coming and he's looking to destroy, man. Yeah, I think what'd you say? He should run uh, run as fast as you can? You what you <laughs> yeah, man, run, run as fast as you can. I'm gingerbread, man. You dropped gingerbread, man, this week. <laughs> that's, that's, hey, man, big cake. I love him. I love that guy, man. I love the whole D line. You know, they, they give us pressure, allow um, backfield guys um, to be able to create turnovers. And, um, that's the key, man. Everybody playing on one sound um, as a group, as a unit. Um, we can do great things. Josh Norman joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. I believe uh, Cam said the second half performance, everyone was, if I'm not mistaken, butt tight. Um, what, what, what's happened in some of the second halves for your team the last few times you've been out there, Josh? For you guys? No, I think mean, just execution, man. Um, just finishing plays, that's all. Just finishing plays when we got him right there in front of our face, and, and that that took care of itself. And the last couple of times, I mean, you can just look at it. the last play. I think the last time they scored that touchdown was when um they just I think um Russell Wilson just threw the ball up, and I went to go get it, and I ended up tipping my middle finger, but it floated down into the or no curse hand for a touchdown, and that got 21. So. Um, little things like that, man. Just just making plays when they're allowed to you and, and just coming up with, you know, anything um, to, you know, get your team to continue the momentum that we've been having, you know, in the first half. Just translate that translate that into the second half, and we'll be fine, man. We, we're not concerned about that. Sure. Um, and what is Ron Rivera's message to your team right now, Josh? What's he saying to you? Um, be ourselves, man. Our personality, what got us here through week one all the way up until now, man. We, I don't know, it's like 20, 18, I don't know what time we did. We lost, I stopped counting after 10. So it's kind of one of those things we just got to continue to work, man, and um, do what we always have been doing. And that's what we have been doing um, this week, just taking that approach um, to try to be one and know. Josh Jorman joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. You are aware um, Larry Fitzgerald likes to be nice to the opponents and throw you off with his niceness, right, Josh? Yeah. You were, it's, it's sort of the sort of the opposite of what you're used to getting in your direction. You're aware of that, right, yeah. Josh? <laughs> That's a wildly veteran move. I give him that. We played we played him though um, last year, so we we kind of know how that goes um, and how he likes to um, do that and, and get close to you and and be you know a, a nice guy, but in the end he's an attacker. Right. Point. Because he, the, you know that. yeah, he asks people about their family, and it sounds like you've got you're, you're surrounded by that right now, Josh. It sounds like to me, I hear some kids in the background, right there. Yeah, they out here. They early, man. They they, they started up early, getting us going early, mm -hmm. fired up for the game. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Who's in the background right there? Who do I hear? Uh, <laughs> that's my family, man. They fired up. <laughs> they in early. They they not getting caught by no snow. So so t describe the Norman Posse for me coming up this weekend. Describe. Oh man, you got my brothers. They always. Oh man, a couple of them came up today. Some of them more coming up tomorrow. Um, I got a uh, my mom. I think her sister's coming up. Mm -hmm. um, also got a few cousins. Well, not a few, but mm -hmm. um, two cousins. They coming up. So um, right now, and they're playing. <laughs> around I'm ringing around Rosie, so okay. um, they're having a good time. Okay. And what's this creed bombing that's going on in your locker room? I, I assume you're 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 not part of it. You hear about this whole thing? The creed bombing? Creed bombing. Yeah. What's that? Well the the, the band Creed, um who's who's doing it from that for the team that's over Olsen's doing it and uh Yeah, Olsen, one of the linebackers, they're going up and uh, they're yeah. seeing lyrics to the Creed song. Yeah, you're not part of that thing, Josh? <laughs> No, nah, I think they left me out on this one. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> next time. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to figure out what you're talking about. Maybe I can get in on it. Well, but I, I think mean, they left me out on this. One. Yeah, you've got to be a fan of Creed first. I, I'm, oh, I, I am. A, I'm mean, a fan of Creed. Actually, um, I, um, I have some songs in the playlist of Creed. By the way. Okay. So all, that's all you have to do, apparently, is just in the middle of an interview that uh, that they're doing is you look them directly in the eye so it's the most awkward uh, situation possible and just sing Creed to them. That's what your teammates are doing. I don't mean to let you know what's going on in your own locker room, Josh, but, <laughs> you know. No, man. Look, we have a huge locker room, so it's better than a long way. So, I mean, stuff that we do is just... Look at you, man. You've got family. You've got car alarms. You've got a lot going on. All right, look. Josh, I appreciate you taking the time calling in uh, prior to all this. Um, and and should you be able to make it past the uh, Cardinals, call me. We'll chat again. I've been through 12 of these Super Bowl weeks with the media and everything like that. I'd love to walk you through some of this stuff, okay? Well, I, you can call me anytime. I enjoy our conversation. You guys have always been the best. And, Thanks, Josh. I'm um, looking forward to seeing you next week because okay. it's going to be a nice game. Okay. You got it, Josh. That's Josh Norman. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.